Take up competitive eating. Take up competitive eating. Forage in the wild. Forage in the wild. Eat your neighbor's leftovers. Eat your neighbor's leftovers. Work for a restaurant. If you work at a restaurant, you probably get some food-related perks. Some places will give workers one free meal per shift, while others may offer an employee discount. Even if you don't get a full meal gratis, you might be able to take extra food home with you at the end of the night. Attend supermarket openings. Scour supermarkets for free samples. Many grocery stores regularly hand out samples, and Costco often has so many that you can practically make a meal out of all the freebies. Other places might not offer samples as regularly, but when they do, you should always try to take advantage of their generosity. Just make sure to be wary of bizarre products that are being given away for a reason. Start a garden. Initially, a garden isn't completely free, as you'll need some plants or seeds, not to mention an open plot of land. However, if you've got the space and the time to maintain plants, you'll soon have an extensive supply of fruits and veggies that you can eat fresh or freeze for later. If the startup cost is too great for you, you can try to link up with your neighbors to plan a community garden, which helps to distribute the initial fees. Get deep into couponing. Your standard coupon might land you 25 75 cents off a particular item. However, if you study the coupon rules at your local market, you might be able to purchase a full load of groceries for practically nothing. What's more, if you get really good at couponing, you might just end up on extreme couponing on TLC. Get extra food by visiting a restaurant at closing time. At the end of the day, restaurants and bakeries often have extra food that ends up being thrown away. A leftover food item could be a pizza that had the wrong toppings on it, or extra donuts that weren't sold before closing time. Instead of having that food go to waste, you can try to talk the store's owner or employees into giving you a couple extras. If you strike up a good relationship with them, they'll probably be happy to let you take the food home instead of tossing it into the garbage. Download restaurant apps. Restaurants and fast food places often seem like they are begging you to download their mobile apps. In exchange for space on your phone's home screen, Many of these apps offer great discounts, including free food. Places like McDonald's and Burger King regularly offer free sandwiches, although additional purchase is often required. Other places, such as Krispy Kreme Donuts, will give you an automatic freebie for downloading the app, no strings attached. Fill out receipt surveys. Ever notice how some receipts include the name of a website where customers can fill out a survey for the chance to win a prize? Well, they are legit and can pay off with a smattering of free stuff. If it's a supermarket receipt, chances are that the prize is free groceries. Non-food stores have prizes like this as well, such as Home Depot's prize of a zero gift card. However, the bigger the prize, the more people are likely to enter, so it's much harder to win the most sought-after prizes. Shop at a waste supermarket. 
If you happen to live in a participating country, you can get free food by shopping at a Waster supermarket. Established in the UK in 2013, the Real Junk Food Project opened a series of stores slash cafes that sell otherwise disposable food products, such as overstocked items from supermarkets. Instead of throwing these items out, the company offers food to the public on a pay-as-you-feel basis. Customers can pay with money, or they can provide work or services in exchange for the food. The Real Junk Food Project is hoping to expand their spread to include U.S. locations as well. Look for birthday deals. If it's your birthday, you have lots of opportunities to eat for free. Most people already know that you can get a free Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's on your birthday, but you can also score a birthday freebie at Baskin Robbins, Red Lobster, Arby's, and dozens of other places. In some cases, a restaurant will send you a coupon for your birthday, which you can then use at a time. If you play your cards right, you can get three free meals on your birthday, plus several more throughout the year. Talk about a belated gift to yourself. Become a mystery diner. Some agencies will pay mystery diners to go out to eat. The diner's goal is to check up on the quality of a restaurant's food and service and many restaurant owners actually pay mystery diners to assess their teams. The mystery diner collects a paycheck, but also receives a free meal in exchange for a detailed report on their experience. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.